To continue the house celebration of Black History Month, my moment in Black History today is on Jane Solomon Russell, the founder of St. Paul College, a priest and an educator. Jane Solomon Russell was born on December the 20th, 1857, to Aramina, an enslaved woman, on Hendrick Plantation in Mecklenburg County. His enslaved father, Solomon Russell, worked on the Russell Plantation in Warren County, North Carolina. After the Union victory in the American Civil War, Solomon rejoined the family and began sharecropping in Palmer Springs, Virginia. His son, Jane, began attending a local school where the schoolmasters allowed tuition to be paid in labor and farm products. The schoolmaster and the superintendent encouraged him to continue his education. He thus was admitted to Hampton Norman Agricultural Institute in 1874, now known as Hampton University. Financial restraints required him to support himself, interrupted his education several times. However, Ms. Patty Buford of Lawrenceville, Virginia, brought Russell's desire to become a priest to the attention of Bishop Whittle. He sent a local priest to Hampton to investigate and secure Russell's mission to the newly formed Bishop Payne Divinity School, originally an offshoot of the Virginia Theological Seminary in Petersburg. In 1883, Russell and his wife began teaching African Americans in a room in a tiny new church in Lawrenceville, Virginia. In 1888, through the legacy of Reverend Saul of Philadelphia, they were able to build another building. This building was called St. Paul's Normal and Industrial College, known as St. Paul College. Due to his enthusiasm, his aggressive fundraising, the enrollment expanded the education curriculum graduating some of the well-renowned Afro-American teachers and professionals all across the country. In 1904, he was inspired by Booker T. Washington. Russell founded an annual farmers conference, and he urged African-American farmers to stay out of debt and to vote, although Virginia Constitution in 1902 instituted poll taxes and the Jim Crow laws had begun. Jane Solomon Russell died at the President's House in Lawrenceville on March 28, 1935, after an extended illness. His son, J. Alvin Russell, continued to run St. Paul College, and his wife, Nellie Pratt Russell, was the founder of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. His daughter served as the college register, and she had enrolled 800 black American students before he died in 1935. Unfortunately, St. Paul College was closed in 2013. This was the only four-year college in Southside Virginia. It was one of the five historical black colleges located in Virginia. When St. Paul College closed after 125 years institution of higher learning, a part of the Negro heritage in Southside Virginia, a striving icon educating black people, and the melting pot for Lawrenceville and Brunswick County. To see this college there today falling apart when it used to be life, it was so painful to see and it brings tears to your eyes. That is why I'm so pleased that Governor Northern in his introduced budget, increased funding for our historical black universities in Virginia. We, the Virginia Legislative Black Caucus, will fight for it to remain there because we cannot let this happen again. We cannot allow our historical black university to be closed due to the lack of funding. So thanks to the hard work of the community and the Tourism Association, a Jane Solomon Russell St. Paul College Museum Archives was opened last year at the Government Center in Lawrenceville just to educate the community and the visitors of the contributions and works of Jane Solomon Russell and St. Paul College. I'm pleased that a resolution was recently passed by the House to establish a Jane Russell's Day on March the 28th of each year. So, on a nice warm day, 
when you travel along 58 Western Brunswick County in my district, stop by the museum and learn about the treasures of St. Paul College and the legacy of Jane Solomon Russell. Thank you, Madam Speaker. This is my moment in black history. Thank you.